Wayne County Board of Education meets tomorrow night, Valentine's night, 6 p.m. for a work session, board meeting on the agenda under items of business, a COVID update, capital outlay project update, also surplus items on the agenda under Board of Education Professional Development, Board of Education Norms and Protocols, Board of Education Code of Ethics, under Financial Management, East Plus Information, and Budget Discussion for Fiscal Year 24. Also an executive session to discuss personnel. All that tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Also a reminder that Wayne County registered voters will soon begin heading to the voting booth to decide the fate of the Wayne County Board of Education's East Blast. One cent penny tax that's currently in place but has to be renewed as it's set to run out in June of 2024. Early voting will begin on Monday, February 27th and run three weeks up to March 17th. The election date set for Tuesday, March 21st. All early voting to take place at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center located at 660 North 4th Street. The time from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday there will be two Saturdays of early voting, Saturday, March the 4th and Saturday, March the 11th. Times for the Saturday early voting will be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Election Day, voters will be voting at their assigned polling precincts on Tuesday, March 21st. The polls will be open that day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. If passed, East Bloss projected to raise $30 million over a five-year period. Superintendent School Board state the top two projects will be the building of a new ROTC building and the building of a new Ag Center. Other funds will be used at the discretion of the superintendent and the school board. Once again, early voting on this East Bloss to begin Monday, February 27th, run three weeks up until March 17th, and the date of the election is Tuesday, March 21st. Next community blood drive, sponsored by the Jessup Shriners Ladies Auxiliary, set for Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium, will take place on Monday, February the 20th from 1 to 6 p.m. And this is sponsored by the Jessup Shriners Ladies Auxiliary. To schedule an appointment, they ask you to please visit redcrossblood.org and enter Jessup. Again, those who enter, or those who donate that day will be eligible for a $10 gift card by email, thanks to Amazon. Also will be automatically entered into chance Join a trip for two to Clearwater Beach, Florida, which includes travel, hotel, gift card, and more. Again, you can also call 1-800-RED-CROSS to schedule an appointment. Blood drive once again set for Monday, February 20th from 1 to 6 p.m. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes of news. This past Thursday in Atlanta, the legislation passed a bill that would raise the maximum weight of the trucks on Georgia highways, cleared the state house committee. Current maximum weight of trucks allowed under Georgia law is 80,000 pounds. House Bill 181 would raise that weight up to 90,000 pounds. Supporters of the proposal say that raising the limit would aid manufacturers in agribusiness, saving them money by allowing them to transport products with fewer trips. They say their competitors in other states operate at higher maximum weights, giving them an advantage. Those who oppose the to the legislation, including the Georgia DOT and more than 100 local government officials, say heavier trucks will be deadlier when they collide with smaller vehicles, and they say bigger trucks will mean more wear and tear on local roads. Federal rule prohibits trucks greater than 80,000 pounds on interstate highways, but Georgia law governs the weight on trucks on state and local roads. Agriculture and forest products groups have pushed to raise the truck weight for years. They cite Alabama, for example, which allows weights up to 88,000 pounds, and the maximum in South Carolina is 90,000 pounds. House Bill 189 would raise the maximum weight for all trucks to up to 90,000 pounds. Georgia Department of Public Safety, not in favor of the legislation. They report that there were 256 fatalities in the state last year involving commercial motor vehicles, up from 118 the year before. Safety advocates state raising the limit on the Georgia roads would lead to simply more fatalities. Once again, don't forget this weekend is the Wayne County Board of Tourism's Hog Jam. Set for the weekend of February 17th to the 19th, headquarters at JC Fair Building. Registration rules are available through active.com. Registration form is available also from the Tourism Board's website, waynetourism.com. Registration is $50 for bow or gun hunters. Hunters can pay $100 and hunt in both categories. Hunters and hunters 16 under hunt free with a registered adult. Again, the Wayne County Board of Tourism this weekend, February 17th through the 19th. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan's have a great day.